and welcome to another. Congratulations for making it this far. Um, this week, we're going to be making uh, jellyfish sun catchers. Uh, here's the materials you will need or that you've already received if you got the kits. So you will need school glue, uh, preferably washable if you have it. Um, you will need an assortment of different colored uh, tissue papers if you have those. You will need a piece of construction paper. Uh, I believe the, the ones you got were black construction paper, but any color will do. Um, you will need some ribbon if you have some. You will need scissors. And you will need a plastic sandwich bag of some sort. Um, it can be any size for this. Uh, it depends on the size of the uh, sun catcher that you're trying to make. Um, some optional things that you might want to consider is a marker of some sort or a, a pencil and some scotch tape or uh, magic tape if you have that as well. Uh, so let's get into it and we'll start our project. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our sandwich bag and our scissors. And again, you're going to be working with uh, glue and scissors, so please make sure you do get permission from an adult of some sort, a parent or guardian. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the zip part of it because uh, we won't need that. And all we really need is half of this bag. Now you could cut it. Um, sometimes if you can get to the seam a little bit, you can rip it. And you can actually rip it down the side. Um, if that's too hard, again, you can just cut at the seam right there. And again, just rip it the other part of the way. If you have a smaller sandwich bag or maybe like a half size, um, you can actually unfold it out like that. So you will have this little bit of a seam here, uh, but that's going to be covered up. But again, we only need probably about, but again, we probably only need just half of one of the bags. And this will be the, the base that we glue everything onto. The next thing we're going to need is our school glue and our tissue paper. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the tissue paper and you're just going to rip off small little chunks. Um, you can do this ahead of time and get it ready. Um, and I say small chunks, but you can pretty much do it any size. But essentially you're going to be gluing these on to your uh, plastic bag when you're ready. So if you have one color, that's fine. Um, if you have a couple different colors, um, it might make it look a little more prettier. And essentially what we're going to be doing is gluing these on so that it looks like stained glass. So let me just prepare a couple of these colors ahead of time here. And if you crinkle them, don't worry about that too much. It'll still be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our school glue. We're going to put a little spot right on our plastic bag. Uh, this is where it's going to get a little messy. You're going to rub that glue in with your finger. Try not to do too much of a, like a large spot at a time. You only want to work on little sections at a time or else the school glue will dry a little bit too fast. And we're going to start gluing our tissue paper on. And you can get glue on top of the tissue paper a little bit. You can kind of smooth it out. But you kind of want to try to get it as flush with the plastic as possible. All right, I'm going to add a little more glue here. And if you are using multiple colors, um, try alternating a little bit. Again, we, we want to try to get this to look like stained glass uh, to give it uh, a prettier look, especially when the, the sun shines through it. And what you're trying to do is um, you can overlap them a little bit. That's okay. But you're just trying to fill up a, a very large portion of it. It doesn't have to go right to the edges, but you want uh, quite a bit of it. Uh, covered up with the tissue paper. Um, if you accidentally leave gaps, that's okay. Um, with working with the tissue paper, if it does start to bunch up a little bit, that's going to be okay too. Again, you're just trying to make it as smooth as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead to what it's going to look like when it's uh, roughly finished. All right. And when you think you're about done, um, you'll probably have something that looks like this. 
Um, you can already see when I lift it up, you can see some of the light from the, the table beneath it um, already bouncing through. And this is essentially um, what we're trying to gain from this. So again, we're making kind of like a little bit of a stained glass pattern. Now I had ripped the tissue paper and have glued it on because uh, I kind of like um, like the feathery look it has on the edges. Um, you can use scissors to cut out your tissue paper. Um, you can even, if you have multiple colors and you want to try to do like a little design, like a heart or something, you can be as creative about this as possible. I kind of like the uh, the random look of just the, the different colors being pasted on there. Uh, so that's what I went for. So let's go ahead and we'll see the next part. All right, so while our um, tissue paper and plastic is drying, uh, we can work on the next part, and that's um, making a frame for our jellyfish. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your construction paper, and you're going to fold it in half, just like this. And then you could either cut this freehand if you want to do this. Um, what I like to do is get a, a pencil or a marker. I'm going to use a pencil in this case. And you're just going to kind of draw out uh, a little bit of a jelly bean shape. Uh, to be the head of the uh, jellyfish that you're making. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I don't know if you could see that. Um, let me try with a pen or marker here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a jelly bean shape on your construction paper on one of the sides. Um, this is going to be the head of the jellyfish. Now don't worry if you use a marker or not because you can actually fold this uh, back inside out. This part's going to be the trickiest part. So you have your folded sheet of paper right here. And the idea is you want to cut out this shape without cutting through the border yet. So I have my scissors here. Um, if you need help with this, you can have a parent help you with this as well or a guardian. And you're just going to kind of poke a hole through and then cut out towards the edges of the little um, jellyfish head. And you're just going to cut that shape out. So I poked through both sheets, so the, both of the folded sheets, so I'm cutting completely through the paper, both papers for this. And take your time with this, there's no rush. Um, this is meant to be relaxing. So please enjoy the process and take your time while you're making these. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. So when you fold it out, you'll see two holes in the paper. So this is going to be the frame for our uh, sun catcher. So once you have this, we're going to unfold this out. You're going to put a little bit of glue right around the edges of what you just cut out. You don't need too much, but we're just going to secure our stained glass look right to the, the border. So we're going to glue both sides because we want to make sure that the frame stays in place. All right. So once you have your glue in place and you have your frame ready, you're going to take your plastic and you're going to overlay it uh, how you think it looks best on your frame and you're going to press it down. Now I have a little bit of excess here because that's going to fold. We want to get that out of the way, so I'm just going to cut that off because we don't need that. So we're going to put our uh, stained glass right in there. We're going to fold this over. And now that we have it glued on both sides, we're going to press down firmly along those edges to kind of frame it. And again, you want to give it ample time to dry. Uh, usually for this kind of a project, it'll take between uh, two and five minutes to, to fully dry. So I'm going to let it do that. But you can already see, um, you can see the image uh, through both sides of the frame that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll get to the next part. All right. So once we've let that dry for a little bit, it's time to cut out the rest of the frame. So what you're going to do 
is probably about a quarter of an inch uh, from where your initial cut is. You're going to cut around the entire thing and you're going to give it a border. So just like this. So you're going to be cutting through the uh, construction paper and the plastic. Uh, this might be a little bit tricky because it is going to be a little wobbly, uh, just like a jellyfish should be. And we're just going to cut a border for our jellyfish. And like I said, we want to make sure we keep that border on there because that's where we have our glue to keep that all in place. This is also important why it should fully set the glue, why we want to let it dry. So if it isn't dry yet or if you're having difficulty, maybe just let it dry for a little bit longer um, until it's not so wet or it's not so sticky or tacky. And we can discard the rest of that. And you should have a, a fun little shape like this. So this is our jellyfish head. All right. And for the last part, uh, we want to put the, the tentacles on the jellyfish. So that's where the ribbon comes into play. Um, so you, you can use uh, different colored ribbons if you want to. Um, you can use yarn. You can use string for this. Um, essentially, whatever you have available to you, um, you can use for this. And you could glue these on. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to glue it all along this bottom edge. And you're going to glue them on so that they dangle down. Now, if you don't have glue or if you think it's uh, not drying fast enough or it's a little bit too hard, that's where our um, magic tape comes in. So we can actually tape a couple of these on. Next, I have a couple different colors here, so I'm going to do some different color tentacles coming off the jellyfish. And we're going to glue them right on the edge of our border there, so that they dangle down. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and speed through this a little bit so you can see what it looks like when all the tentacles are on. All right, so we can see I'm nearly finished with this. Now, when you're doing this, um, the tentacles can be curled, they can be straight, they can be different sizes, uh, so they can be longer or shorter. Um, if you have straight ribbon and you want to curl it, um, that's also where a pen or a uh, marker or a pencil will come in handy. So all you're going to do is wrap the ribbon around there. And these are already curled, but I'm just kind of demonstrating anyway. But you're going to wrap the ribbon around, and then you can actually attach it to itself. It's a little bit easier. And then you're going to pull it away, and you'll get some uh, deeper curls into that as well. Alright, so I'm going to put it on my last piece here. So for the last piece, so once you have the tentacles on, um, you'll see them dangling down. You're going to want a small piece of ribbon. Uh, so again, we have our scissors here. Uh, to be a loop for the top of the head. And what this is going to act as, this is going to be something that you can, you can hang it off of. So if you have a, a thumbtack or a nail and you want to hang it by your window to let the light shine through it, uh, you'll have something to hang it from. So we're just going to make a, a little ribbon here. And again, tape does work easier, but if you do not have tape, uh, the glue will work just as well. You'll just have to give it some time. So we're going to tape our ribbon on like that. And it is complete. So if it's still not done drying, um, you can just let it sit for a few minutes to dry. But then we have our jellyfish. And then once you're done and it's all dry, you can hang it up for someone near a window. And you can already see the, the light kind of passing through it. So if I put my hand here, you can see the shadows coming through. And again, it's just a, a fun little decoration for your window um, to just kind of hang there with its little tentacles and stuff. And there you have it. So we have our suncatcher jellyfish with its little tentacles here. Um, afterwards, um, if you want to, if you have stickers or little gems or something, you can decorate the outside of it. Um, you can decorate the ribbons any way you want to. Um, you can color parts in or even draw on it. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, it's up to your creativity. So. I do hope you enjoyed this and tune in next week. We'll have a new project for you. Until then, take care.